how are you so today we will make a video for automating login process for fires v2 api with totp i made one more video earlier that was prior to totp mandatory okay i will take that video down and this video will be uploaded okay so i have already coded so i'll explain it to you and will provide the code along with the video uh, the location where i will share will be mentioned in the video description okay okay so this is the python code uh, we will need these python libraries like pyotp is for generating pyotp uh, programmatically uh, fires api and these are the other ur lib request is for calling apis these variables are for this is the information about your api like api secret this you can generate on the uh, fire fires my api dashboard or my account uh, redirect URL you mentioned it fires ID is your ID username for login into fires pin is four digit pin client ID is also generated at the time of uh, AP creation app ID okay and TOTP TOTP um, it is generated at the time of to um, when you enable two factor totp okay and uh, thi this is one string which when you scan when you log into your google authenticator this uh, key is created and you need to copy it okay uh, app id type app type th this will remain constant app id has is uh, shf256 in encoded hexadecimal string okay these are some base urls static you need to keep it as it is let's go to the start point here i am generating the auth token which will be used by fires for login uh, i mean uh, for calling all the apis by fi python uh, sdk of fires okay so let's go to the get auth uh, get auth code method so this automated login process is a six step six step process first is retrieve request key by sending uh, api key and fires id second is generating totp third third step is verifying your TOTP in this request you need to pass on the request key which was generated in step 1 and the generated TOTP in step 2 ok as a result of this step 3 you will get some access key which will be used in the step 4 here you need to verify pin so you will pass on the access key along with pin we will go in detail of each of these methods Okay. and then token here you will pass all the information about your apis and you will get some access again some access token which will be validated in the next next and final step whatever token you receive as a step in the response of step 6 that will be used further okay let's go to the step one again once again it says send login OTP so let's go there this is a post API call uh, here in payload you specify fires ID app ID ok and uh, this URL is uh, base URL base URL is uh, API T2 fires whatever it is plus send login OTP for this token you have a different base URL for these two steps okay 
if you see for each step we have a different url 1 2 3 4 and 5 one step in between is to generate totp we will see that okay if it is successful then we are returning a success method if it is not successful then we it may throw some er exception so we are catching it here try catch block so in accept you will re be returning the login error second step was to generate totp so how we generate we use this library pyotp here we provide the string which we got from google authenticator at the time it's a one one time activity to enable two factor authentication with google key okay so and next step is verify totp in this we are passing on the request key which was generated which was returned in the step 1 and totp generated from the step 2 again this is a post call fourth step was to verify pin and here we are passing on the pin because identity identity type is also mentioned that is static value pin and the identifier value is the four digit pin and the request key and this is again a post request and we will get the access token from the response this token generation is it was just uh, fifth step here we are passing on the information like fire id app id redirect url access type and everything a uh, validate auth code the auth code which we received from previous step we are validating it here by using this post url okay we are specifying the app id has which we generated sh256 encoded string and auth code which we got from the previous step here this is the auth code okay and if it is this call is successful the validate auth code it will generate some access token and this access token we are returning it here and to test whether it was successful or not so we are passing it this token into this fires model I'm trying to call fires order book okay so it's a quick video and i ran this code on my account so it is something like this each step is being logged like if it is successful or fail this will help us in debugging okay the final access token is specified here and this is the uh, response from order book ap call okay so i think this is that's all i have thank you bye